what's happening happy wednesday uh happy easter coming up that holiday is coming up or did it just pass i can't remember man i'm all lost in the sauce (laughs) (laughs) says let's talk afc north you got myself bobby g and the homie big mike from the man cave what's happening bro man what's going on what's going on Hey, chilling, chilling, chilling. I'll adjust myself real quick. I'm all left in the camera, man. Lost in the sauce for real. What is that to my? What is that on my mic? Oh no, it's just a visual thing. It looked like it's all kind of bubbles next to my mic, man. It's tripping. Oh yeah, I see that. <laughs> I was like, what is that? <laughs> it is what it is. Time to talk, as you know. If we back at it, uh, a lot has gone on since the last time we was in the building. But before we get to that. Um, so some shout outs and honorable mentions, man. You got anything before we really get into it? Nah, nah, go ahead. All right, well, I'm going to start the show. Uh, my beautiful, beautiful, sweet and loving wife, her grandmother's birthday is today. And she has turned a lovely 118 years old today. Yes, wow. she is exactly 13 months older than Jesus. Uh, so shout out. To Bubs, yeah. Grams, you know, out there hanging out with the kids and the wife. We got the birthday cake going. We got the chicken cord on blue, nice. especially nice. for her birthday. Nice. <laughs> Happy birthday. Celebrating 100... her time. What? 118. 118. She yeah. said, she said, Father Time ain't beating me. <laughs> <laughs> she out there whooping his ass. So Father Time, <laughs> they, they are besties on Facebook. That's what Hell yeah, <laughs> she be sharing Instagram and everything with him, man. She's like, LeBron, this is how you do this. <laughs> nah, but uh, no, rapidly, rally had birthday bus turn uh, seventy six today, I believe. Nice, um, nice. So happy birthday. Yeah, we love you. We, we well, I would ask for longevity, but any more longevity, you really will be one hundred eighteen years old this month. Live <laughs> <laughs> life to the fullest and as long as you can. There you go. Couldn't have said it better myself. Happy birthday. And I will be out there to eat all of the cake uh, in about an hour. <laughs> what kind of cake? What kind of cake you got? Uh, wife made it. Yellow cake. Uh-oh, it's Dave Chappelle. Got to look out. I might not be on it. It's yellow <laughs> cake, man. <laughs> yellow cake. Yellow cake. Yeah, but my wife uh, made it from scratch. Or it, it, yeah, made it from, oh, well, almost nice. scratch. Nice. She made it from nice. the box. What do we do? Straight from the box. box. Yeah, straight from the box. box. Hell yeah. But she did decorate it, hand decorated. It's a nice looking cake. Uh, It was white icing. White icing with a strawberry accent icing. There we go. All right. So, yeah, nice looking cake. Doing uh, her Betty Crocker. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, And I'm a cake connoisseur, so yeah, I'll tell y'all what that was like next week. <laughs> but the chicken go on blue. Oh yeah, we're gonna we gonna munch on Ooh. that. We're gonna do yeah, we're gonna tear that down. That was good too. Alright, alright. Getting into the, the the good stuff. Man, we 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 haven't we haven't chit chatted since free agency started and went. About three uh, weeks. Yeah. <laughs> A lot happened in the division, uh good and bad. Uh I'm sure some stuff we agree on, some stuff we disagree on. Uh, for those that have followed my personal journey, you know, uh, me myself uh, hosted the uh, Thursday Thursday night post game show on Let's Talk Sports with uh, Wildcard Mar. And um, <laughs> way back once upon a time, different Broncos were on Thursday night football, and Jerry Judy and Steve Smith got into it. And after that, I went on a huge rant about Jerry Judy, uh, and. Basically, for the whole season, I called him Mr. Three for Three for Fourteen. <clears throat> Reason why Steve Smith basically called him just a guy, saying he's just an average receiver. Uh, Jerry Judy took offense to that, came out, and uh, you know was not unfriendly to Mr. Smith when he went up, and with all intents and purposes, to either apologize or either at least talk it out man to man. Right? Uh, Jerry Jerry Judy kind of. Said, nah, I'll keep that same energy. And Steve Smith did keep that same energy. But Mr. Judy did not keep that energy because he went out in that game that night and had three receptions for 14 yards. <laughs> a man calls you an average receiver, and that's the way you respond on national television. So I called him Mr. 3 for 14 the whole rest of the season. Uh, flash forward to about three weeks ago. Uh, ben Simmons was the topic of discussion on uh, 
on the Audible, uh, which you can catch on Friday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. And we were talking about Ben Simmons. And, and you know what? Ben Simmons made me so upset because he is now out for the season again, uh, getting a $40 million paycheck again. Gosh. Right. That I had to apologize to Jerry Judy because he may be just an <laughs> average guy, but at least he is out there trying. Like, at yes. least he's out there attempting to produce. So I apologize to Mr. Judy. And you know what happened the very next day? My <laughs> Cleveland Browns <laughs> acquired Jerry Judy. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> oh, my God. And was extended. I, and then extended them recently. Was I surprised? Was I in, in absolute dismay? And it was like just happened. So I'm like, Mr. Judy, I apologize. And then what what happened? The Browns I, traded this. I was like, really? See, it's you. Who apologize and all of a sudden they're like, hey, I'm <laughs> with it. Bring them yeah, in. Bring them in. <laughs> in. Oh, but in man. that case, I am sorry that Patrick Mahomes is the greatest quarterback to ever live. I apologize for Patrick Mahomes being so good. Uh, Andrew Barry, get it done. <laughs> but I guess we'll start with the Brown with the Browns. What do you think about the Browns moves, uh additions, losses, and uh anything that you think they, they can still do? Oh, they, they, I think Andrew Barry did everything he needed to do. He kept the pieces he needed to keep. I mean, I know okay. you had problems with Darius Smith and keeping him, you wanted to go younger. Yeah. I would have rather done right. it. Yeah, I'm all right with still keeping him because I, I still think he has that fire, and I think maybe now he has something to prove because he's probably heard the talk because there's others that have told, hey, man, you ain't oh. do shit, you ain't worth it. So yeah. maybe, maybe maybe he got something to prove with that. Fair. Then, then we went out and signed, you know, we had Devin Bush. First-round pick, ain't done shit. All right, so maybe hell a of, Hell of a season. player on Madden, though. Yeah, bust that ass. <laughs> so maybe sports to get him going. I don't know. I, for some reason, I'm blanking on, on the other linebacker. I don't know why I'm blanking um, on him. From the Vikings. Um, why am I, Hendricks? Not, I keep, Hendricks? No, not, Ken, not Hendricks. Um, man. Isn't, it, his it isn't name Kendricks. is like right there. It wasn't Kendricks. Um, I dang swear it. to God. It's like you're going to be like. What the heck? Uh, <laughs> they brought his ass in, and he's a good veteran. I think he, you know, yeah. he'll tackle somebody. He ain't gonna be just sitting there getting hurt all the time. I'm so upset because the name is like right there, and it's so. I, I, I'm, I'm 54. I can see the see him. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan Hicks. Jordan Hicks. Jordan Hicks. Hey. Man, Sorry, Jordan. To hell. Yeah, my bad, Jordan. Butchering the shit out of that, but. Yeah, all right, so they brought in some linebackers. We needed linebackers. They brought some in, one that we know what he's going to give us and one mm -hmm. that we have no damn clue, and his ceiling <laughs> and bottom are up and down. It could be to the floor. Could be, he could rise to the occasion all of a sudden. Who knows From the window to the wow. <laughs> yes. And then, you know, we, we did our thing with Jerry Judy, you know, fifth and a right. sixth. A hey, three picks, whatever. Hey, I'm all right with yeah. that. I think Judy needs to change the scenery. Let's see what he does now. Let's see what yeah. happens, whether it's Watson, whether it's Winston, you know, whether it's mm -hmm. Huntley. Who the hell ever stoned him the ball? Let's see if this man, because he says Amari Cooper is my mentor, is a dude I model my game after. I want to be like him, blah, blah, blah. Right. Cool. Now let's see you actually do it. Follow this man's footsteps and be everything you say you can be. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I like. I, I especially love that they brought Mo Hurst back. I yes, love. I love they brought him back. Uh, Shelby Harris, Harris. I think. Yep. Both, yeah, I think both those guys were not like key. They're key to the death of this team, and especially that defensive line. Yeah. And I love they did that. Jordan Elliott's gone. He went to the Niners, right. which I think that's a hell of a pickup for them because they needed that death. But uh, maybe hopefully around. he's not. He wasn't just. I mean, contract year. You know how it can be. So we'll, we'll see what he's really made of. Yeah, but I mean, I think we did all right. I think there's still probably something happening. Who knows what's gonna happen? But I love how it, Barry restructured everything. Took deals, yeah. restructured, restructured the Judy deal as soon as he came in. Might mm -hmm. have extended him a few 
restructured it for this year. Restructured yeah. the Willis deal. So he brought money back around and did what he needed to do. So Right. Yeah, so in essence, I mean, really, it's like he took money from him to give it back. So it's just like for those looking at the Judy deal, I know it's like $58 million. It's really like 48 then I know it's yeah. like 41 guaranteed. It's really like 31 because remember, as soon as he touched down, uh, Barry was like, yeah, I'm going to need 10 million from you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm out. definitely uh, – going to catch those pockets because you better catch yeah. the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely not mad at the price we paid for Judy. I'm not mad at that. No, um, no, the extension – I'm not sure if we if this is isn't something that couldn't have been done, say like we. I mean, I know the NFL is weird with when guys can sign contracts and all that, but I'm not sure if this is something. If 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 they did have the option to sign him during the season, yeah, I think I, I think that would have been my preference. Give see him a couple the games, th- exactly. See if he fits in the system. Like we, do, we really don't know anything. He's true. He's Jerry X right now. Yeah. We really don't we really don't know what we have. We know what we have talent wise, we know what we have potential wise, but we don't know what we have on the field. Um I I I, I was really disappointed that we lost Taki Taki. Yeah. Man, I, I, I was really kinda yeah, he was he was a good player. Yeah, to me he was one of those guys that like um that just, just he was here for the whole ride. The ups yeah, and, and the- f- yeah, like he should have found a way to be a Brown his whole life, his whole career. Like yeah. he was one of those guys. Not not because he's a star, but just he does his job, comes into work, goes home, and yeah, yeah. He's he's one of those guys. Just should just you look at the back of his card, it should just say Cleveland all the way down. But um, it is what it is. he went to the Patriots. That's that's kind of surprising. Um, yeah, the whole Patriots team is surprising. Yeah, but there was a thing. I mean, it's kind of almost like uh, Mayo's continuing tradition. Remember, Bill Belichick had a had a, had a history of picking up former Cleveland Browns or making yeah. trades with the Browns and like <laughs> getting Better players and then yeah, turning them into freaking champions. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think that's happening. But yes, I, I he did. Yeah, that. yeah. Um, are you surprised thus far? Greg Newsom is still a Brown. A lot, a lot of rumors behind his name. With Detroit, mm-hmm. and how Detroit was coming af- after him before that, and then that news broke and they released him. Yes, because I yeah. for sure thought they were going to come heavy after that, and we we were going to let Newsom go because you know we got Cam Mitchell, got Ward, you got Emerson. So I figured, mm-hmm. why not? Plus, we know how to pick. DBs yeah. up, it's like we know how to draft them. It'd be the Absolutely. seventh round, be like that guy right there. Yeah, and I don't. Yeah, Again, I'm, 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 I'm surprised. Very yeah. surprised. When I when I heard when I heard Jerry Ju- we traded for Jerry Judy, I for, for sure thought that I was going to see it's like Greg Newsom and a late round pick. Yeah, because that had been like kind of the talk, at least for the last year. It's like. And look at like message boards and see what people are chatting. It's like, what do you think the Broncos would take Greg Newsom for Jerry Judy head up? It was like always kind of that. Those two yeah. were kind of in line amongst the fan base. So it was like uh, when I saw that that we didn't even have to use him to get Judy. Then I start thinking like, okay, what kind of deal could they be working on that could potentially involve him that they might be looking at? And this may be a draft day. True. True. Maybe they try and uh, get to the back end of the first round if if somebody they like starts to fall. Because um, I'm sure, I'm sure compared to the DBs in this draft, he's higher rated. Oh yeah. So it it would make it if you're at the back of the first round and you're looking DB, um, a trade for Greg Newsom would that be appealing to you? Uh, yeah, man. I, I I'm so I, I hope we hang on to him though. I, so, I like Greg, even though he had, he he had he had a rough season last season. Uh, started out fantastic, but then in the middle he kind of whenever basically whenever Denzel whenever Denzel Ward was not in the game, Greg Newsom <laughs> had a rough rough time. <laughs> I, I think he needs to cut the hair. 
I think it's affecting everything. The helmet's <laughs> rising upon him. I think the face mask is going to his eyes. Cut the hair down so the helmet fits right. <laughs> I think that's what he's got. <laughs> it's kind of like Jed Willis in that fucking chin, man. I think it makes it always so he has to look up. He's never looking at the guy in front of him, you know. Lose some of this and he can look straight then. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. Uh, but overall, um, overall, you're a free agency grade for the Browns. I don't give it a B. Okay. B plus. You know, like, again, we didn't do no crazy splashes besides the Judy thing, which, again, in most people's eyes, it's not a crazy splash because of, you know, his production level. But, I mean, the dude's had – how many quarterbacks to go through and systems he's gone through and who knows what the hell ever else he had to deal with over there. But, yeah, just a B. I mean, we kept players we needed to keep. Our defense is still strong. Offensive line still strong. Restructured, got some money, and, yeah, I think we'll be. Yeah, I'll probably be – I'll definitely be on board with that. Like I said, the only thing that got me is I was I was disappointed we lost Taki Taki. Yeah. Um, is I mean we'll we'll see what Devin Bush can do. I'd love to see them use him in the same fashion that they use JOK, or use oh, yeah. him in the same fashion that that the Cowboys use Micah. Maybe maybe that's a re- maybe you cut into Zadarius' snaps. Let let Devin come off the edge because the one thing he can do is run. The kid is fast. Yeah. Um, kept DBs intact. I was uh, very pleased with that. A little time, man. Allen, what's happening, bro? Can just move to Dallas. Man. Only move we made. <laughs> yeah, signed that long low, low, snap. You know? He signed the long snap, but that was that little move. Hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> any draft guys? Y'all, yeah, keep it um, Any receiver who runs a sub four, a sub four yeah. four for me. I've been on that train <laughs> for a long time, so I don't care what his name is. I don't care what school he went to. Any wide receiver who is sub four four. I do not want to see a, a number above four four drafted for the Browns. We got enough, we got route runners, Cooper and now Judy. Yeah, I, I I just need a I need somebody to stretch the field. That's it. I, I like uh, Malachi Corley, the wide receiver. Call him Yak God. I like that. Mm-hmm. And I like uh, the Xavier Legit from South Carolina. I am I think I'm really kind of picking up on him. Uh, people. Yeah. Are or comping him to to uh, AJ AJ Brown, yeah, and DK, saying he's kind of in that mold. Uh, let's see what the kid has. Uh, also, lineman man, I need line, I need interior lineman. Maybe one Agreed. more tack, maybe one more tackle. I mean, we're solid at one tackle. Obviously, we we know uh, Big Thanos is going to take over somebody's job one day. Maybe yes. next season, more likely. Um. But the way health is going, he'll get a lot of snaps this season. Uh, I think we need to start securing the other tackle position with a young, with a young guy. Yeah, unless unless they really like Christian Junior, man, that we had play that took over that position. Man, if they really like nah. that dude, where the hell he came from? No, nah. because I feel like he did a hell of a job. Well, not like a hell of a job, but he did a better job than Willis did. And I'm like, all right, you know, this dude, he's doing all right. But, yeah, I mean, he's a no-namer. We, no one knows where he came from or anything. <laughs> but, yeah, we do need to get another tackle in here just just to be ready because I don't want to have to yeah. be pushing dudes all over the place mm-hmm. and going to the parking lot and whistling, who's 300 pounds and 6'6", come on in. Like, nah, I don't want to do all that shit. Yeah, if we don't draft a tackle this year, I, they're telling me the future. They're telling me the future. Uh, that means yeah, that means they're not they're re-signing Willis and they're no, riding with. I don't even believe that. If we don't draft a tackle, I think we're looking at the twenty-five draft first first draft where we'll have our actual pick, our first round pick. I'm gonna draft you know, uh, offensive of lineman, first round offensive of lineman, high success rate. They yes. usually don't. Very like high. If you're, yeah, if you're a first round graded lineman, you usually at least. A solid NFL player, uh, Jed Wills. I don't, we we got unlucky and just missed. It. I mean, he started so so much promise, but 
is what it maybe, is. Maybe this will change. Maybe this will be a, you know, reality check for him. He'll come out and he'll he'll do his thing. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. But well, close it out the Browns. That other Ohio team down the way, just across the street from Kentucky, Cincinnati Bengals. I uh, think of teams in the division, people had their eye on them coming in because all eyes were on T. Higgins and what they were going to do. Were they going to sign him? Were they going to franchise him? They decided to franchise him. Uh, he said, F you, pay me. Uh, <laughs> or in this case, F you, trade me. me. Uh, <laughs> he demanded a trade because he's not getting his contract. All eyes still on the Bengals and what they're going to do. I mean, that's essentially what made what made the Bengals the Bengals over the last few years is the big three. The big three uh, out wide. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Sign is they picked up Trent Brown. It's solidifying their tackles. Uh, yes. Sheldon Rankin, Rankins on the D line. I like that pickup. Von Bell uh, bringing him back because yeah, they took a big risk in letting him go the season prior. Uh, Zach Moss picked up you know Stone. Yep. Uh, Mike Jacecki. I think that'll be an underrated pickup. Uh, that'll be great. Resign, yeah. Uh, resign Drew Sample. <laughs> He's another one of my Madden guys. Akeem Davis Gaither, I like I, I just like him. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> uh obviously franchise T. Higgins, but we're looking to see what happens. Uh put exclusive rights on everybody's favorite quarterback, Jake Browning. That's right. So, you know, if you want to sign him, it's gonna cost you cost you some picks. Um how do you what do we think about the Bengals moves? Man, they lost some secondary. Then they added the safeties, but they lost lost a doozy. So now they need some corner help. <laughs> uh, Mixon, they traded him to the Texans, which I knew it. I was calling Mixon being traded back in October. Said true, he's gone. True. Watch. And I was telling Jay this. He's like, I no, nah, no. Nah. He's still all the way up until it happened. And I showed him. Said, watch, he's gone. <laughs> Look. He's like, no, nah, I don't think that's real. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, man, you were right. I said, yeah, and that's crazy. <laughs> Went to the Texans. That's a hell of a thing there. That's a whole nother discussion. That team has done did so much shit. They get an A plus. Yeah. He said um, they get an A plus. They get an A plus. They took a team that was amazing and just added and added, and you're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> besides, but, besides but did they do too up. much? Is it one of those situations where it's like you think you're ahead of you really think you're ahead of where you are? You I know what I mean. I, and I'm only looking at like the two pieces. Like I said, Daniil Hunter and then Mixon. Those things, that's huge, them two. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm like, wow. But all right, back back to these these cats. <laughs> Cause I mean, DJ Reader leaves, you're bringing Sheldon Rankins to replace him, which I don't know if that's an up or down move or the same. Uh you you're gonna run with Chase Brown. You got uh Zach Moss, which I <laughs> right. I don't know even know what to think about that. I wish we I mean, could have got him. That, that's only I wish we would have got Zach. I, I wish we could have got him too. We got Naheem Hines instead. Yeah. Which uh, he he could be a returner too. You know, I think we could use him in punt. Sure. And, you know, all right, cool, all right. Uh, Tyler Boyd's probably gone because I mean they didn't do anything yet. I mean, he's not signed anywhere. They didn't sign him. And T Higgins. Listen, if they do anything, they need to use him in that 18th pick and try to jump up in that top 10 or something. And try to get themselves a rookie receiver, whichever one falls. Neighbors, you know, if Romo Donzi falls or some shit, grab him, do something. How about they uh, pull off what a lot of people are hoping they pull off? Uh, no, T. Higgins, T. Higgins and 18 with Jefferson. <laughs> that would be so disrespectful. Do you know what's crazy? Trade Minnesota. for him and then give him the back. <laughs> Minnesota could be up for that because they're gearing to do something that nobody understands. I mean, people, some people say, but they traded for that 23rd pick from the Texans. Mm. And I was like, oh, shit. They're going to take both those picks and they're going to move in the top. They're going to get their quarterback. They're going to jump up in that top five and get mm. their quarterback is what they're about to do. So maybe they might do that. Look, they take the 18th mm-hmm. T. Higgins. So they got another receiver next to Adson. Right. They get a first round pick back, plus probably something be, else. Yeah. So it's gonna be something else added into that. It could be one of those things where on the back end and and uh, you know 
behind the scenes with Justin Jefferson. It's like, yo, I don't want to play with a rookie quarterback. Yeah, like if you think about it, he's been he's been he's been playing competitive football since he's been in the league. Yeah, um, he's like yo, nah, I'm cool. If that's happening, yeah, that would be an interesting deal to look at. Even though I think they yeah. could probably potentially get more. Well, they, well, pick, pick I, I'm sure the Bengals would, Bengals would probably give him more. They'd give him that 18th tee and probably another first or something, maybe or a second or whatever the hell they got to work out. But I, I feel the Bengals could do that. Now you got Chase, you got Jefferson. You making a run right now, like right this. Uh, you trying to go? <laughs> but I mean, yeah. or I let's know. say they don't. Do, do do you think he has the uh, cojones to sit for the whole season? Who, Justin? No, T. 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 So that's the only way he's getting out of his franchise and sit for the whole season. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like. Joey B and Chase might go and talk him into playing. I don't. I don't think he sits for the season. I. That's a lot of money to lose out on. I, we've only seen it done one time, and that's with uh, Le'Veon and Le'Veon. You know, yeah, some Mark. people say that 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 was kind of the downfall of his career. Could it? It could have been the downfall. Like anyway, had he played, like yeah. that's we'll never know. But um, I mean, he got his back. He did get that from the Jets. Um, he, he did. But he just never was the same player again. Yeah, but wide receivers, I mean, different position. Um, yeah. Taking a year, could have taken a year off really hurt a prime wide receiver? And, he, and he's, you know, was he Higgins, like 25? Yeah. So you're looking at coming back year 26 season. I don't know. All right, well, we trade Greg Newsom for T. Higgins. <laughs> <laughs> they need a corner. We'll take T. Put Judy in the slot. That'd be done. <laughs> if we, man, if we we do that, then people are gonna wonder like, where the Browns getting all this money from? Man, we just print print money in Cleveland. That's what we doing. <laughs> that's that's how it works around here. <laughs> Now then, uh, then you know something. There's another trade that's going to happen after that if it works yeah. out. But I uh, don't do see you, that happen. I think the Bengals did enough to uh, to maintain their competitive nature with a healthy Joe Burrow. Again, the weapons is what scares me. You know, if T. Higgins is gone or Sids, right. whatever happens there, no Tyler Boyd. Um. I like the Gasecki thing. That's huge because they need that yeah. tight end. They need that tight end. Joey B has to have it. Um, you got Trent Brown, which is huge because your offensive line is straight dumpster. So yeah. that helps the rest of the line. Maybe they level up just enough to be a competitive line. Okay. Um, Chase Brown showed some. So maybe if he is that bad, him and Moss can handle it. I, I, I don't know. If he stays healthy, they're always in the running. Again, it's just a matter of that. He's staying healthy. So he yeah. goes down again, then you have to give him the, the label of injury prone. He's, he's if he goes down league. again, you're trading him. It's been only four <laughs> years. He's only finished two of those seasons. I I told everybody they should trade him now. Now? Right now. Before that label happens, because when it does happen, then you'll feel better. You could have traded him and get one of those <laughs> top picks right now. Or Even stick with Jake from State Farm. Even I don't know if right now, but <laughs> I was messing around with Jay, though, when all this happened. I'm like, yeah, trade. You got Jake. You got Jake. Put him up in there. Trade, get a top pick, and use that top pick to add weapons, get Marvin Harrison or something, do something. Right. And you're going to get more mm-hmm. than just one, so you'll be good. You'll be good for the next year. <laughs> very, very, very true. And I – uh, speaking of the team, forget competitive team that actually took down the division, Baltimore Ravens. Uh, it feels like the Ravens like lost their whole team. <laughs> yeah, that is absolutely insane. <laughs> I mean, like that's just what it feels like when you realize that they didn't. But it, it's like it just feels feels like all they did was lose. But they add Derrick Henry, uh, pick yeah. up Josh Jones on the O line. 
Uh, Kadar Holman, pick up a corner. Uh, Chris Boyer, you pick it, re- replacing Patrick Queen. Uh, re-signed uh, Matabuki, uh, yeah. uh, one of the best interior linemen in the league. Re-signed Blake Harrison. Re- uh, bringing back uh, Darius Washington, I think is an underrated corner. Um, Marlette, same. These guys got PT when the DB, other DBs were injured. Um, but you 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 lose Clowney, you lose Darby, you lose Duvernay, you lose Edwards, you lose Queen, <laughs> you lose you lost Tyler Huntley, you lost Stone, okay. you lost Zeitly. Like oh my God, it's it's like. It's like, how do you still I, have a team? <laughs> they're, they're, listen, all of that kind of pretty much tells me they're not going to be able to redo what they did last year. I feel like the turnover was it's too great. I mean, Henry adds a hell of a lot, but mm-hmm. I'm just like, man, dude. And unless you're going to stick with your game plan like you're supposed to every game and not switch it, then, all right, I don't know. You better be handing that ball off to Henry and Mitchell and letting them boys do their thing and tell Lamar, if you got a lane, take it because that him throwing a ball in the double coverage ain't where it's at. Now, who do you got out there to catch the ball? Zay Flowers. I think I say, yeah. Zay Flowers. Flowers. I mean, he had, had a very, very, very good rookie year. He did, and then he went in the playoffs and acted a fool, fumbling the ball. Yeah, I penalty. think that, that changed That's, the course of that game. That no, play. that – then again, they went down – they switched up and went the other way with their game plan. It was like, man, you guys cost yourself a spot yeah. in the Super Bowl. That absolutely. was absolutely horrendous. Um, you got Andrews coming back, though. and Yeah, Andrews uh, will be in back. His, in his absence, Isaiah likely did step up and show that he, uh, he, he, he can play. So, I mean, you still got – the, you still have the kind of weapons that you need around Lamar Jackson, which hey, – He's proven that why that tight end is more important than wide receiver for him. They just need a for wide him, receiver yeah. that can that can make plays when necessary. Yes, agree. I mean, well, now there's no hip tackles. I mean, yeah. Derek Henry's probably going to run for two thousand yards. Yeah. You know, oh, you, you got the other that. kid coming back too, um, Mitchell. Yeah, Keaton yeah, Mitchell. Out of the back for, yeah, or whatever. I think it's Keaton Mitchell. I want to say it is. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, he's and he was. He's that quick, oh, he, elusive dude. He's like, it's like a Damian Thomas and a an Austin Eckler type, yeah. you know. Especially against the Browns, yeah, he was, <laughs> he's still Jesus running. Christ. He was balling the hell out. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I mean, obviously you got you got the the coach, so I mean. Yeah. At the end of the day, toughest division in football. I still think they'll they'll be competing. I mean, you just can't rule them out. You can't. You no, can't rule them out. Hell no. I just don't think they're going thirteen and four. Uh, well, no. I mean, hold. What do we got? Uh, this as a division, we play the West and the uh, NFC East. Yeah, I'm not gonna rule it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, the NFC East, you don't know what I you're mean, gonna get. With, you don't know what you get uh, with Philadelphia because there's a lot of turmoil going on over there. Dallas is Dallas. The Giants, uh, you saw they got rid of everybody and running Brian Burns and thought they did something special. And yeah. the Commanders are rebuilding as they do every year. So. Yeah, the Commanders. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so you look at the match, you look, okay, we got the AFC West outside of Kansas City. The Ravens could beat everybody in that division. Uh, then I think got... that division is a lot tougher than the NFC East, though. But still, ball. You give Baltimore a chance to beat it. Like it's it's not like oh, yeah, going they, down. they have a chance to beat everybody. Yeah, uh, even even the Chiefs, the they have a chance. Yeah. They should have beat them. Facts. They can beat the Texans. Uh, who won the East? Buffalo? Won the won the East? They can beat them. Yeah, then you cross over. They can beat everybody in in the NFC East. I don't know who their uh, 17th game is against, but if even if it is. San Francisco, they can beat them too. So it's I like think <laughs> can't rule I out think thirteen of, wins. <laughs> I'm not gonna rule out because they can win every single one of those games. It's just yeah. a matter of that's the problem. Yeah, they can, but are they going to? What's gonna happen? How they're gonna go into this? Are injuries gonna affect them? How's this Lamar question? gonna be? Do they uh, lose more games in the division or out of the division? 
and the division is going to be tough. <laughs> right. Joey B will be healthy. All right, suppose, all right let's say allegedly, he should be allegedly. healthy. <laughs> John Watson allegedly should be healthy. Allegedly. Our back. <laughs> Chubb, we're going to see how that's going to go because he's starting to run now. So mm-hmm. if, if everything progresses correctly, he should start the season. And then, you know, you got these Pittsburgh Steelers that – we're now Super Bowl Ball, contenders. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Five <laughs> for five cents, they, they went out there and threw a nickel and got everything in the world. They just, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but the Steelers are always a tough out no matter who they have. They can yeah. have absolute trash and they're still a tough out. Um, say so even if you even if you have, if you say they'll lose more games in division, which is, I think for the last couple of years, like, like every team, everybody's going like three and three. Yeah, it's just that still gives oh, I mean, you like Pittsburgh was what they lost one in the division or two. Was it two? We we split. We split, uh, and I think they split with they, Baltimore. They split with Baltimore. I think they split with the Bengals. All right, not, just these Bengals. I think the up. Bengals lost every game. I thought in the division, didn't they? No, they they beat us week seventeen. Remember or eighteen? Oh, or yeah. all right. Well, I think that was their sole win. I don't think they won. I don't think they beat Pittsburgh. Let's see. It would be the easy way. I easy think they, were, they should have. If they would have beat Pittsburgh, they would have been a chance to get in the playoffs, and they didn't do it. No, Baltimore was three and three. We were three and three. Pittsburgh was five and one in the division. <laughs> oh, so we were their sole loss. <laughs> and the Bengals were one and five. That is insane, bro. That the, is the insane. Thing about that is the but Pittsburgh you gotta think, Steelers are 5-1 and one in the toughest division in football, and they and it, were 5-6 and six against the rest of the NFL. And it should have been 4-2 <laughs> because if Nick Chubb doesn't go down in that game, we beat the shit out of them boys. <laughs> but that that's like, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I know, that's and, and we We're going to get into it in a minute. And I'm t- This is a team who's 5-1 and one in this division oh, with no quarterback, yeah. and now they got a quarterback. And you don't think they can compete for a championship? No, I don't. Come on, man. They could do 5-1 and one in the division again. That's about it. They're not going to win no <laughs> Super Bowl. They're not going to go to the AFC Championship. Not doing none of that shit. <laughs> that team is not even touching KC. Just it's just uh, not happening. Playoff wise, I agree with you. I mean, but I, I've already booked my pick pick for next year. I'm I'm a, if the Browns don't win the Super Bowl, I'm pulling for the three peat. Oh yeah, I want to see the three peat too if the Browns ain't in it. Let's see. Man. Like I definitely want to see it. I want to see Browns Detroit, or I want to see Kansas City do three. Browns Detroit. <laughs> I, I'm I not want to that. See that Super Bowl. Hell yeah, you do. No. No. Nah. That'd be the I most watched see... Super Bowl ever. No, nah, our our first Super Bowl has to be like like we have to beat a prestige team. Like we gotta beat the Packers. We gotta beat the Niners. We Man, gotta be someone like that. You, you don't think the Lions yeah. are prestige? I mean, they got the team. The Lions they are, no, they're not a prestige team. Listen, they got they're, the top they're good now. The the yes, now. But that's that's yeah, what I'm good saying. Now. Two teams that went 0 16 at one point, 1 and 15 at one point. They both sucked, haven't done shit, never sniffed. Well, I mean, we sniffed it, but never been to the Super Bowl. <laughs> I mean, this that would be the most watched thing ever. Like, holy shit. Now, let's save that to after we win. Let, let's go this year. <laughs> let us beat, like, the Niners or the Packers <laughs> or who else? Who else could we, could we beat? Philly. I want to Dallas. Cow, Cowboys would be great. So put Dallas let's in there against us and let us smoke them fools. That'd be great. <laughs> and then the following year, when we're going for the repeat, then let us kill their Cinderella story. See, that that, that can play out like that. Then Jeez. have the Cleveland, Detroit, two teams. Cleveland got over the mountain. Can right. can Detroit you know get what? over the mountain? <laughs> You're right. Let's do it, let's do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it that Appreciate way. Appreciate you, Mr. Robert Thomas. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let, let, you're right. Let's do it that way because then we're going to build the dome in Brook Park. We'll have the Super Bowl in Cleveland. Oh, I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen. No, please don't I, let yeah, that I happen. I know you don't want to come out of the city, but I feel like it's probably going to. It, yeah, man. The money talks, and Jimmy hasn't got it. But He's uh, got it. And then, Dude, there's going to be a lot of good things that happen out of that. It's just going to suck that it's not downtown. 
Yeah. Uh, but a lot of the good things will come out of it. Um, for Brooke Park. Not, well, well for, I don't, well, I don't know. Maybe I mean, Dan, for, maybe Dan Gilbert do find something to do with that landing. Dan Gilbert's been developing a lot of stuff in, in Cleveland, so we'll uh, we'll uh-huh. see how it plays out. They are also the talking about building other uh, facilities, though. So we'll uh, Rob, Robert Thomas says Bengals got the North. Listen, Come Bengals on, got the North. Oh, you are a Bengals fan, Mister Thomas? We just we, we just finished talking about them. We, we, I think they lost too much. Yeah, they got they ain't, it. They ain't got it right now. Not right it, now. I can't give it to them. It's just like the Browns. It all depends on the health of the quarterback. Not for me. Not for well, me. I mean, for the Bengals, they still got no weapons. They got Chase. Yeah. I mean, right now, we'll, we'll see what, what happens with T. Higgins. Uh, <laughs> I got I to gotta see. He's, he's the key. If T. Higgins ends up playing the season, uh, we could talk about it. If they trade him and they don't get a good return on that, that um, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's, you, then all okay. you got to do is people going to play that, that, that cover six shell on chase <laughs> and let the rest of the team try and beat him. That's going to be tough for him Mike and for Gusecki. Burrow. <laughs> Mike Gusecki's going to have a pro year. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> He's going to have a pro all year. Him and Drew Sample. So, yeah. <laughs> And then you still got the fact of Joe Burrow having it to uh, be healthy, finish the season healthy. So this this is actually this is a huge season for the Bengals. Though it this is a very big season for the Bengals. Uh, this could be the turning have, point of going up more yeah. or going all the way down again. Yeah, the stranger thing. I'm not going to say that relationship can't be repaired. <laughs> Look at what he put now. <laughs> Hey, Can we all talk hey, trash listen, on the Steelers? I, I'm going to be doing it. But listen, I mean, I'm not talking trash on the Steelers. Dude. <laughs> I got my, I, I got more <laughs> respect for for what happened. Like to me, I think as far as all AFC North teams go, they won free agency. I mean, you pick up a quarterback right now, bridge perfect bridge quarterback, and you pick up just a quarterback for the future. Just look at Seattle. If no matter what you think about Russell Wilson, the man can teach football. C.G. No Smith. If if and Justin Fields has way more uh, uh, foundational talent base than Geno did. If Justin Justin Fields can be the sponge over the next two, potentially three seasons that Geno was, that's a problem for the AFC North. Like that's a huge problem for the AFC North, especially when you have a coach that doesn't. Look, you know, I'm, you know, I'm gonna start calling uh, Mike Tomlin, Jay Z. Uh, well, I he will not juice. lose. He got the juice right now. He got the Felipe juice. Felipe Wilson and Fields. Um, yeah, you got. I mean, you get you getting two quarterbacks for hell less than five million dollars. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what they got the quarterbacks for. Five million this year. That's insane. Absolutely, and franchise level all, too. I mean, well, one franchise team. level. It's. And now, like that, that least honestly, I'm pissed at the Browns. I'm pissed at the Browns, cause bro, you get <laughs> they got Justin Fields, man. Forget, I'm so, sorry, Jameis. You telling yeah, me I, we could have traded for Jameis. Justin Fields for a fifth round pick? <laughs> and it ain't even this year. It's next year. It's next year. Yeah, it's 2025. Jameis for sure. Like, uh, what did these these GMs be talking about behind the scenes, man? So I. <laughs> Yeah, well, they're just look, showing why their management, why they, they are the class of the AFC North, b- b- top down. Like that's it's top down. It's and I'm a Browns fan, but I got to get credit where credit is due. One hundred percent, Robert. One hundred thousand percent. I agree with you. Yeah, they should have kept the young man and made him compete with whoever they draft. They Clean should not Rogers. have drafted any damn quarterback this year. No, nah, you got to, man. I think you take the, the Cowboys yeah. approach. And the Cowboys, once upon a time, they drafted yeah. Troy Aikman and uh, Walsh. Hey, you Listen, make them compete. Let's see what we got. They could have drafted a quarterback in the second or third round. You could have still got Bo Nix probably down there or Spencer Rattler, whatever the hell you wanted to do back yeah. there. I'm not. I'm trading that first-round pick, and I'm getting draft capital for the next year or two, and I'm putting weapons out there. I mean, they did Keenan Allen. I'd have still drafted Harrison. Got your old line correct. Then you got your second round pick. I shit. I don't know, man. You could have you did all sorts of shit. 
What's up, brother? We're here every Wednesday, every Wednesday at uh, 8 Eastern, 5 yep. Pacific. Uh, I, yeah, except for the last two Wendy's, the low under the yeah, weather. No, we were all sick the last couple of weeks. It was sick because yeah, Pittsburgh great. signing quarterbacks like it ain't nothing. <laughs> Man, they were just over here like, hey, I got five cents. Let me get that dude. <laughs> Only Pittsburgh, man. That's, they get the luck of this shit. Yeah. But the thing is, I, me and you argued this already. I, I, I don't feel like they have enough weapons for this to come together. Friermuth is Friermuth, I guess. Mm -hmm. But Pickens is is a mental case to me. I just don't think he's going to be what everybody thinks he's going to be. Good call. I like that call, Rock. See, man, great minds thinking like, man. You just try to you make him compete. Let's see what we got. Let's see if Justin Fields can rise to the occasion. Or, because... If it you could run yourself into a uh, Russell Wilson situation, remember Seattle had a big thing. They 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 signed uh, Matt Flynn, gave him a big contract, drafted Russell Russell Wilson, and then Russell Wilson came in there and showed out and took the job. So if like if if Caleb Williams or Drake May, whoever they like at quarterback is really that guy, then you could beat Justin Fields for the job. Just not drafting Caleb Williams or any of those guys. And then you can run yourself into a situation where you can always get the draft pick. Because say Justin Field wins, wins the job. And your rookie, whoever it be. You trade Caleb Williams then? Yeah, you trade him next season because he's going to be rate, higher rated than next year's QB. Especially the way people talk about Caleb. This dude keeps showing me the mental problems this guy's got. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> lip gloss, fingernails I mean, painted pink. Pink phone case, fashion. crying on his fashion. mom, holding dogs and shit when you lose. <laughs> <I'm>, uh... <laughs> That's all they ever do, man. That's what they're going to hey. do. They're never going to have a losing season with Tomlin, man. Never. Never. Never, never. And you know what's amazing? He's never won coach of the year. It, 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 that's crazy. Yeah, never. And the fans but when he did two. win the Super Bowls, I mean, he he wasn't the best coach that year. He just got his team in there and won the game. Shit, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, but the year they uh the year they lost, but remember they had that defense was like, if they would have won that Super Bowl, that defense would have been considered uh, generation. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was all that. Never had a losing season. Never won coach of the year. And Kevin Stefanski got two they up. look at us. They're like, Omar, you've done too much already. You've done all these movies. You've got these shows. You just, you, you nah. He's the most <laughs> most quotable NFL coach of all time. He's something else <laughs> is what he is, dude. Standard I, is the standard. I love it. He's a great head coach. His son's an amazing wide receiver in San Fran. I, I mean, dude's <laughs> got everything. Just the bloodline. Brandon Ayu. <laughs> Um, but nah, listen, you calling them Super Bowl contenders, I, I don't, yes. I'm not saying that's crazy shit. I'm just Making looking the what they did, man. One thing, but Super Bowl contenders is hell no. They made the playoffs with Mason Rudolph. Concussed, concussion and all. <laughs> I'm, no. Mason, you, Mason Rudolph took them to the playoffs. You no. don't think, you no. don't think Russell Wilson no. can get them to the divisional round? At least. I, 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 I don't. I think so, man. I just don't. I don't. I don't five know. and one in the best division in football. I need to know where Russell Wilson's mental is at now after all this shit, too. Uh, oh. At the man cave ten on TikTok and Twitter. Dessert and at Audible underscore Bobby G on Twitter X, whichever one you want to call it. I'm I'll probably never ever not say Twitter. This is fun to say. I'm still yeah, with the Twitter. idea, man. Let's, let's 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 get some money. Let's find some people, get some money together, and buy Twitter from from Eli. How much <laughs> you think that that'll it's cost? Interesting. We just got to put Twitter back up. We got to get the bird back, little bird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're not signing no non no non compete. Nope. Nah, Straight up nah, sell. Nah. Give me that. Give me that, and uh, we'll, we'll bring it back. It'll be like an angry bird this time, though. <laughs> Make it a little angry bird. <laughs> I was like, put it, yeah, next week we'll have a scroller with the socials on it. Yeah, we'll put all that out next week. Tune in. Or just, oh, it's in, yeah. it's in the description. Yeah, look in the description, too. Should be in the description. I think the description has everything. So, yeah, look over to the side. Click the description. 
Everything should be right there. Ah, oh, there we go. Bang, bang. Got you covered. Yeah, check our YouTubes out, too. I mean, great content sports-wise all around. Talking everything and anything. I mean, we just did Relax Wednesday. We were talking all sorts of shit about all the things. I mean, the <laughs> Kendrick Lamar shit going down, the ship hitting the bridge. Yeah. You know, the diddler doing on, his uh, thing. <laughs> Speaking of, man, thoughts, thoughts and prayers to the families affected by that, man. That, that was crazy. Uh, to wake up and yesterday and see, see that. What, uh, the ship? Yeah, that that was. Listen, you know valid. all them families are immigrants? They're all immigrants. Crazy. It, 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 it's crazy. I mean, yes, it's prayers out to all of them. Yeah, they're from El Salvador. Most of them are, yeah, they're from out of the country. Yeah. A power goes that's on right. that boat name. You know, cra- but what's even crazier is that's the second time that boat's been in an accident. <laughs> Uh, time to what they say yesterday. The power went out. Said, I don't, man, yeah, the yeah. power went out right before it. But I mean, that's the second time it's been an accident, and then it yeah. hit that bridge. And it's just wild the way the way. And the thing that like the thing that that always gets me, and it makes me like I'm I'm a huge film buff. I know you're a film buff. Yes. Um, movies like Final Destination. You're looking, you oh, know, entertain, think of that. But like, how do you feel? Because if you if you have you seen the video, I'm sure you've seen the video. Yes, oh yeah. Like that last car, it was a car and a truck. That were like the last two vehicles. Yeah. It was like 30 seconds before impact. Just got crossed. And you know, like that had to be like, like they had to see that in the rear view. And it's like, how do you feel if they you were those people today? <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, bro, I'm I'm like. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know how to feel if, if I'm if I'm in person. If, uh, I'm at follow Rob Thomas. <laughs> respect hey, for the handle. It. I'm already following you. Hey, respect for the handle. Hey, yeah, I'm already following you. So, but yeah, dude, that, that is crazy. final destination stuff. Because Jay was just talking about how he was on the plane ride. You know, he's scared of planes. Freight mm-hmm. plane rides all the way down to Jamaica. Came back the second one. All of a sudden, turbulence hit. No one can move, and he's scared to death. He's looking out the window. He's closing his eyes, trying to act like he's sleeping. And it's almost like the boogeyman at night when you're a kid. Hold on, there ain't nothing there. There ain't nothing there. And he's all crazy, and then he's getting off the plane, <laughs> puking everywhere because his anxiety went through the roof. <laughs> But then he's like, he's like, I know it's rare for planes to crash. You know, you mm-hmm. get struck by lightning before it happens. He goes, but dude, he's like, that yeah. shit scared the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah. No, the, the bridge thing, was, that that probably be my biggest fear. Because one of my biggest fears is drowning. Yeah. And, right. and like, I I'm, I'm always get a little tense when I'm traveling over huge bodies of water. Like, whether, whether it be driving over a bridge or if I'm flying out of, out of the country or whatever I'm doing. If I have to travel over a large, large body of water, yeah. I, I, I get a little tense. And so, yeah, that's, uh, I, I, thinking about it is even. So you ain't taking out, you ain't riding no cruise, huh? You're like, no, <laughs> honestly, but I've been like, I've been like, I've been fishing. I've been in a little yeah. skimpy, skimpy, An ocean? uh, not in the ocean. Uh, oh, see, uh, I, a lake and all that. Nah, hell no, right? oh, no, no, no. I'm not going fishing in the ocean. No, nah, I ain't, Even I ain't doing Big-ass boat? Big-ass charter boat? I, I, I don't. <laughs> that's the thing. My wife really wants to go on a cruise. I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know. Listen, you know what's funny know. is? Your, Jay's the same way. He 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 don't know about <laughs> the water. He doesn't do that shit. And T wants to go on the cruise. Find a Korea oh, this hell year. Yeah. Find a Korea. Like, Korea's fun, though. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. My cousin was over. He, he was stationed over there. He was in the Air Force. He was stationed over there in South yeah. Korea. And as a matter of fact, when I was in, when, uh, when I was in Germany, uh, I was coaching basketball over there. We had a tournament in England. And oh, we had right. to, we, we drove, but we had to get on one of those, uh, I don't know what to call it, the, the boats that ha- takes the cars, or, like you park on the boat, yeah, and it fairies. goes. Yeah, fair, fair. Fair, is, is it a ferry? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we had to travel across the ferry. 
and that was kind of that was a little nerve wracking. <laughs> That's like the Lake Erie ferry takes you from Cleveland to Putin Bay. Yeah, and I've actually been on like the I've been on the Good Time too. I did, yeah, did that thing time. like when I was, but yeah, bodies of water. I almost drowned my cousin when I was a little kid. <laughs> well, see, you're drowning people. That's different. <laughs> It was self <laughs> self preservation. Self preservation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were in the pool playing around, and like, like I felt my feet flat. Yeah. And I just like felt my heel not touch anything, and then, you know, the middle, and then it got to the point where it's just my toes. I'm like, wait, whoa, and I'm like drifting back to the deep end, and she's like uh, in front of me, and I freaking grabbed her. <laughs> Snatched her to boost myself over. back. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the more moral of the story is I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm still strong. <laughs> God rest her soul. <laughs> <laughs> Sacrifice for Bobby G. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you put that evil on me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, when we get to these birthday festivities, you got you got anything yeah. before we get out of here? <laughs> um, tomorrow, uh, Faithful Dogs with Ted, five o'clock hey. Eastern. Then I'm doing a opening day with my boy Beer K from the Cheap Seats for That's baseball it. about seven fifteen seven thirty. Jump on over to my YouTube at the Man Cave eight one seven two. Uh, Friday, maybe I'll, I'll maybe I'll be back. Talking basketball with you guys. It all depends. You guys do that shit late. Uh, Saturday, 4 to 6, Eastern, the cheap seats. Sunday, at 12 to 1, you got the old man and the kid. Yeah. And then Sunday night, Sports Madness, 630 to 8. And then right back here with you. Absolutely, absolutely. And if you want to see my beautiful face, of course, tune in here Wednesdays, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. Uh, of course, Friday, uh, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Got the Audible podcast, Audible uh, Sports Podcast, where sports meets life and culture. Me, myself, and Wildcard Mar. Then the 30 minutes after that, also on Friday, uh, in the hoop uh, here on the Let's Talk Sports uh, YouTube with uh, Kegwit, Jay, uh, Allen, like the whole crew, Tanner, Everybody. sometimes. <laughs> yep, uh, but we're doing it. Uh, that's what we got going right now. Uh, baseball season is a big waste of time, so you will not see me uh, talking to any <laughs> baseball, especially the Guardians, because they did. That's that's what I need. I, I need Dan Gilbert. Dan Gilbert, I need you to buy the Guardians. Oh yeah, him and Go Haslam should play and buy the Guardians. No, I don't want Haslam touching nothing, man. That dude is terrible. <laughs> I don't just, have I just to do. money. You don't gotta do nothing. Just put his money in there and let Gilbert run the show. <laughs> now put your money in keeping the stadium on the lakefront. That's your concern. Go ahead, and get that, that four hundred million dollars back from the Bucks, <laughs> and put that into the damn football stadium. But uh, that's why <laughs> Gilbert won't ever tag with him because of that. <laughs> Anywho, appreciate everybody for tuning in. If you do, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, turn your notifications on so you know the next time we are here running our mouths, which will be next Wednesday at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. Until then, I am Bobby G with the homie Big Mike, and we'll catch y'all later, man. Peace.